you guys once more here back again with another video in this video i'll be demonstrating you how to perform cross site scripting attack so let's get started first uh, let me give you a very small brief about this attack and uh, later i'll demonstrate uh, how to perform this attack in a web application so cross site scripting is a type of vulnerability which is found in the web application and this and in this vulnerability attacker will inject uh, malicious code in a web application through javascript code and uh, malicious payload attacker can inject in various form either he can inject in a search box or in a query parameter and uh, if you understand a web application completely how it works from both uh, front end and back end then you can exploit this vulnerability and uh, the attacker uh, always uh, means uh, the attacker does not attack the victims page directly he always exploit the vulnerability in that website then he uploads the payload to that payload to that website and uh, later whoever visit to that website uh, that payload get executed so as you guys uh, might have known about myspace and twitdeck uh, websites payload Uh, these two payloads was the fastest uh, virus of all the time uh, in case of uh, myspace the payload display the string that uh, but most of all same is my hero on a victims myspace profile page and as well as send same a friend request and when a user view that profile page the payload get executed on their own profile page and containing the distribution of that uh, own and uh, uh, when same upload uh, upload this payload uh, within just 20 hours over 1 million users uh, get infected with that uh, virus so uh, and after that uh, same became the fastest uh, spreading virus of all the time so like this in case of uh, tweet deck you can see xss attack uh, was set to automatically retweet via this uh, data action data action equal to retweet so what it will do for whoever uh, whoever visit this tweet it will retweet again and again so uh, like this xss bug uh, is a very serious attack and uh, this bug can take down a web application uh, within a few minutes but uh, but guys uh, this bug uh, was very easy to exploit uh, 10 years ago but nowadays many javascript libraries like angular js and react js made great progress to protect their websites but still xss bug xss bug is there uh, if you can uh, if you if you can check uh, owsp top 10 bug then you will find uh, for then you will find xss bug is still there and uh, and guys if you don't know about uh, owsp means open web application security project and it's a community that uh, produces freely available articles methodologies documentation tools and technologies in the field of web application security you will find uh, the link of this websites in the description below so please go to their websites and check out about this community now uh, there are six different types of uh, xss uh, bugs are there so the first one is a reflective xss uh, so in this xss it allows an attacker to inject a script into the content of your websites when users visit the uh, infected page the script will execute in the victims browser so like this the dom xss is a document object model in this uh, the html source code and the response of the attack will be exactly the same and after that uh, it can be uh, so after that it cannot be found in the response it can only be observed in the run time so like this there are many different types of xss xss are there but uh, my goal is to make you understand about the cross site scripting uh, bug so that you will have a basic idea about this bug and later you can explore more about uh, more about it on your own so i will highly recommend to study if you are a web application pen tester uh, um, or a bug bounty hunter then please read Uh, uh, read about these two books you will find find you you will find the links for both of these books in the description below and uh, uh, first i'll highly recommend about this the web applications hackers handbook second edition 
so uh, for the demo uh, i'll be using uh, bweb bweb is known as a buggy web applications it's a free and open source insecure uh, web applications and uh, it helps security security enthusiast developers and students to discover uh, more about uh, security so uh, let's move on to their uh, official website so their website is it's uh, it's a games.com so this is the websites so here uh, you can find uh, other you can find many bugs uh, details you can see th they have many bugs these are the most com uh, most common bugs of all the web uh, in a in a websites and also you can do the local setup uh, i'll highly recommend to do uh, make the local setup and uh, the local setup is uh, pretty simple so uh, it after uh, when you when you download uh, after downloading uh, the zip file you just you need to move, you need to copy to bare www.html and after the you need to do the configuration the configuration is very simple uh, i'm thinking you can able to do it on your own uh, if not then uh, let me know in the comment section so uh, so this is the local setup uh, as, you can, as you can see the path is local localhost bweb slash login.php so here uh, you need to log in through their credentials so the credential is b user is b and password is bug and for this demo uh, i'll set the priority to low because uh, this is the first video of xss so i'll set the priority to low and now login let's save so now you can see here uh, there are many uh, bugs you can find uh, and after that uh, you can choose which are which are the modules you are working on but now in our case we are working on now is cross-site scripting and i'll be choosing first one is reflected after when you select the reflect uh, any of the options then after you need to click on hack now you can see uh, there are two op there are two fields are there there are two input fields are there first name and last name so when you click on go now you can see it's asking please enter both the fields and in the url you can see the first name equal to and last name so these two are the variables so suppose i will enter my name and suman my first name last name patnaik then hit go now you can see first name equal to ansuman and last name equal to patnaik and these two uh, variables values are reflected in the url so now what if i will upload one simple javascript code script alert i'll give a message that uh, this website is xss vulnerable now after that i'll close the script tag in the last name now i will hit go now you can see when after clicking on go it shows one alert dialog with that uh, this website is xss vulnerable so uh, now this is a sim very simple uh, very simple payload so suppose uh, if you are uh, if you are trying this in some live websites and uh, and after that if, if that alert if that alert uh, alert dialog box shows then uh, that website is xss vulnerable that is the first step to find out uh, that website is vulnerable or not so now now let's try uh, with some uh, other code suppose same script but uh, with some other message so what if we'll try document dot cookie and we'll close the script tag now we hit go now you can see 
इट सोस माई करेंट ब्राउजर कुकी सो लाइक दिस इफ वट द अटैकर विल डू ही विल डू सम रिवर्स सेल एंड आफ्टर दैट ही विल इंजेक्ट दिस पेलोड इन दिस वेब पेज एंड एंड आफ्टर दैट वेन द विक्टिम्स विल विजिट दिस वेबसाइट सो दैट कुकी विल गेट रिवर्स टू द रिवर्स टू द अटैकर मशीन एंड आफ्टर दैट Uh, he can steal the cookie of that uh, victim's browser so uh, like this uh, you can see there are many so there are many uh, many javascript codes you can inject and uh, in if you go to the bug section uh, all we uh, can practice all these bugs and uh, you can just uh, pick one module and uh, you can just uh, start uh, doing some experiment and also which book i already i already told you uh, i already told you just to start that web application hackers and book second edition this this book you just uh, start reading and also you can also follow this owsp testing guide so this the, this is the first step to get started of this uh, uh, xss uh, vulnerability so oh guys this is this is overall uh, overall introduction of uh, cross site scripting and uh, also i'll uh, and also i'll highly recommend to make a setup of this bwap and guys uh, let me know in the comment sections if you find any issues about this setup or uh, anything else about the books uh, or uh, if you have any suggestions you just let me know in the comment sections and uh, uh, if you like this video then please uh, hit the like button and please do subscribe to this channel and uh, i will see you in my next video uh, thank you for watching